three, two, one. Five hundred. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Epstein here at Northwell Health, and I just placed my 500th leadless pacemaker. A number of years ago, what was developed was called a leadless pacemaker, which is a small pacemaker, self-contained, the size of a capsule that we put in through the vein in the leg and actually attached to the inside of the heart with no wires and no surgical incisions under the skin for the patient to have to deal with. The experience with leadless pacing has been great for the right patients. It allows you to avoid all the complications that you see with transvenous or wired pacemakers and have reduced the complication rate. It's a very simple, straightforward procedure and has grown in popularity over the years. I've been doing leadless pacing since pretty much it was first rolled out. We were part of training other physicians on how to do it and therefore we've been doing it for some time. One of the things we realized that since these devices are resistant to infection, we figured out that we could take out their traditional transvenous or wired pacemakers and put in one of these leadless pacemakers to be able to treat their infection more effectively. It's been interesting to see the journey of this over the years.